Thanks for joining me today for this presentation, Open Airs, leveraging open educational resources to support QUT higher degree research students through the Advanced Information Research Skills Unit. I acknowledge the Turbul and Yagra as the First Nations owners of the lands from which I'm presenting today and pay respects to their elders, laws, customs and creation spirits. I recognize that these lands have always been places of teaching, research and learning. My name is Sal Klein and I'm a library advisor here at Queensland University of Technology. This lightning talk will cover how the AIRS coordination team is championing the creation and use of open educational resources to provide contemporary research skills support materials to our QUT higher degree research students and external audiences. As the AIRS library advisor, I provide support for IFN001, Advanced Information Research Skills or AIRS, which is a mandatory unit for all commencing PhD, Master of Philosophy and Doctor of Education students. Through AIRS, we support our QUT higher degree research students to develop the skills and capabilities to independently and effectively find, use and manage information so they can conduct research now and in the future, regardless of the research context that they operate within. In late 2022, the AIRS team commenced planning for a major unit review to make sure that we continue to deliver a pedagogically informed, engaging and relevant training program. This is a major review, which includes the development of new learning outcomes and content and an entirely new assessment model. Using an evidence-based approach, the review is being informed by feedback from students, from HDR supervisors and research support staff in Australian academic libraries. Adding another layer of complexity to the review has been the university-wide transition from the Blackboard Learning Management System to Canvas. While challenging, this shift has gifted us an opportunity to deliver the AIRS unit and related content in a new and potentially more contemporary format. Specifically, leveraging the current appetite driving the proliferation of open educational texts and other resources. So with all this in mind, where are we now and where are we going? Needless to say, this is a time of change for AIRS. However, one thing that won't be changing is our ongoing advocacy for open educational practices reflected in the provision of AIRS learning content under a Creative Commons license. Currently, our content is openly available via the AIRS website under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial share alike license. And this means we can support our research students by providing open access to AIRS learning content. And feedback from students and academic staff tells us this is really important. One of the many reasons for this is that it enables students to start reviewing learning material before they're formally enrolled in the unit and continue to access it at the point of need after they complete ERS. The after becomes particularly important when we're supporting HDRs in, for example, the publication stage of their candidature. And content that perhaps seemed a low priority in the first six months of that program is now at the forefront of their mind. They remember covering it in ERS and know to go straight to the ERS website for more information. So providing content on the website as we currently do makes it easy for students because they don't have to be enrolled in AIRS to view it. Administratively, however, the process involved in maintaining the website is complex and time consuming. And therefore, as part of the review, the AIRS team is exploring more sustainable approaches to openly providing this material to our QUT HDR students and external audiences. Throwing the move to Canvas in the mix means we have to be more creative about the ways we can best support our research students, not only during AIRS, but also before and after. So what's the AIRS team actually doing about this? Well, we've started looking at the utility of press books to make AIRS learning content available openly, but also embed it in Canvas. We have been migrating existing AIRS content to a press book to better understand the suitability and functionality of the platform for our material. And excitingly, we'll soon begin creating new content in Pressbooks for the new years, which will be available from 2024. The aim is to make this content or parts of this content publicly available under a CC license. Using Pressbooks allows for greater engagement with the content by students through tools such as Hypothesis. And for us as a team, it's more sustainable because it will streamline processes around changing content so we can ensure it's regularly updated to reflect current and emerging trends and changes in teaching and learning practices to better support student learning and skills development. To supplement the AIRS specific material, I'm also looking at identifying existing open educational resources that support research skills development. There are many fantastic resources already available that have been published under Creative Commons licenses. 
Even when the most restrictive licenses apply, we can still use these high quality OERs to supplement our own QUT specific content. Not only that, but there are also OERs focusing on how we can make our own publication more inclusive, equitable, accessible and diverse, all of which are so important to ensuring that we meet the key principles of social justice. So the S team has a lot of exciting work ahead and the driving force remains providing research skills supports to our students to progress through their programs equipped with the skills required to deliver what will hopefully be extraordinary research outcomes. And now time for questions. 